Many school districts across the United States include within their boundaries parcels of land that are owned by federal government or that have been removed from the local tax rolls by the federal government, including Indian lands. These school districts face special challenges. They must provide a quality education while sometimes operating with little or no local revenue. The Navajo Reservation covers 27,425 square miles of high desert country, occupying portions of northeast Arizona, southeastern Utah, and northwestern New Mexico. It is the largest land area assigned primarily to Native American tribes within the United States. The number of enrolled members of the Navajo Nation is 300,048 as of July 2011. The traditional style of home of the Navajo is the Hogan, a circular dwelling made of wood and packed mud and earth in varying amounts, with the door facing east to welcome the rising sun for good health and fortune. Today, many hogans are maintained for ceremonial purposes. Many homes in the area do not have access to natural gas and electricity. Many structures do not have telephones, cell towers, or public utility services. They also may lack complete kitchen or plumbing facilities. Roads are generally unpaved in the rural areas and small communities. In many parts of the Navajo Nation, roads are often poorly maintained and are sometimes in nearly unusable conditions after monsoon rains or winter snowstorms. Where does education fit into this story? Located in northeastern Arizona, Sanders Unified School District No. 18 encompasses over 900 square miles stretching from the eastern edge of the beautiful petrified forest to the Arizona-New Mexico state line. Our school district is home to three schools serving approximately 1,000 students from pre-kindergarten through the 12th grade with a population of 99% Native American students. Our students come from seven different communities located within the Navajo Reservation. We continue to stand for a blend of the old and the new. The Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad and the Interstate 40 corridor run through Sanders. We embrace the past, however, we know that for survival of the future of the Navajo culture, we must prepare our children for the 21st century. Our heritage is our future. We need to empower our youth by providing strong education and employment options with concrete actions and goals to overcome poverty and other signs of despair. A way to heal a nation is through the children. The aid of parents is enlisted toward this goal by teaching them to trust and value education for their children, by introducing them to educated, successful adults in the worlds that they can relate to is imperative. Our children require teachers like elders, mothers, and fathers who can teach them about their language and their culture and make them proud of whom they are. Our community want their children to respect their elders, work hard, study in school, not drink, and of course, remember their heritage. Today, even in rural Indian reservations, there are youth gang activities. Our youth are apparently looking to urban gangs for those things that will give them a sense of identity, importance, and belongingness. With the help of Impact Aid, the school can give our youth that identity, importance, and sense of family through academic accomplishment and pride in their success. Federal Impact Aid funding generates over 50% of Sanders Unified School District's maintenance and operation budget and about 98% of our capital budget. We believe that the federal government's limited but increasing role in K-12 education should focus on creating increased support by maintaining, if not increasing, federal funding for public education of students that reside on federal impacted land. Impact aid funds are used for a variety of experiences, such as salaries of our teachers must remain competitive in order to recruit and retain quality teaching staff in such a rural and challenging setting. Due to our adverse road conditions, it is necessary to replace two to three school buses each year out of a fleet of 38 buses. Some of our recent construction projects include a new athletic facility for Valley High School, which was built in 2008 and most recently we have implemented a district-wide energy savings project. We have purchased textbooks, curriculum materials, computers and technology supplies for students and staff to enhance high levels of learning. Our career and technical education program 
provide students with lifelong training and personal development through a quality program. The CTE program is one of Sander's most valuable programs. It prepares students for the workforce right after graduating high school. Funds are also appropriated for remedial and intervention programs and the extra costs associated with educating children with disabilities. SUSD is currently funding two of three preschool programs through Impact Aid. Because of the effects of isolation and poverty, many of our kindergarten students who did not attend preschool will start out two years behind their peers in academics, are behind in social skills, have limited vocabularies and experiences. Sanders is the only area preschool with certified teachers in the classroom that focuses on daily language development and enrichment. Sanders provides activities to explore and learn about the world beyond their current experience. We provide early childhood education and intervention, thereby reducing the need for later remediation. Adequate vocabulary and varied background knowledge are crucial if we expect our students to be successful at learning to read. Through Impact Aid funding, we are able to provide students access to and support for current technology. Teachers are able to use technology to make their lessons more productive and exciting for children.